anything to try to get your money and financial information. And now an old scheme is making the rounds with con artists hoping that you'll fall for it and give them everything that they want. Wheat News consumer reporter Adriana Shepard breaks down what you need to be looking for to keep your information safe. This is your Bank of America debit card fraud prevention center with an important message. The same voicemail. We need to verify some recent activity on your Wells Fargo credit card. Yet two different banks. You made a purchase of $120.40. But the same amount of money spent at the same place. And now your card is apparently blocked. Please call us back on our toll-free number. A Wink News employee got both of these voicemails within a couple of days of each other. AARP Fraud Watch Network Director of Victim Support Amy Knopfziger says it's all a ploy to get your information and it's been around for a while. And oftentimes it might not even the, be the bank that you bank at, um, but you might think, oh, well, I should probably call them because maybe someone has opened up a bank in, or a bank account in my name at this place. And the toll free number listed in the voicemail goes right to a call center claiming to be a fraud prevention center. Knopfziger says never call that number. It's going to go to their other criminal buddies and they're going to pretend to be the legitimate bank and they're going to hook you into their scam. You're going to think you're talking to the real bank, but it's not. If you have any worries, she advises you go directly to the source. So stop, take a breath and think, what do I need to do in this situation? I need to check it out. Go directly to the source, go directly to the website, contact us, or turn your bank card over, get the number there, or find a bill or a statement from that bank and call that number directly. If you've already fallen into their trap, Knopfziger says get help immediately. Maybe you need to set up a fraud alert on your credit report. Maybe you need to change your bank account number. Whatever it is, do it quickly and report it and get the help and the resources that you need to get back on track. If I lost money doing um, in any of this process, is there any way that I can get it back? Unfortunately, if money is taken in these situations, it's nearly impossible to get it back. But that's why reporting it immediately is crucial for any chances of recovery. And if the person on the other end ever asks for remote access to your device or asks to be paid through a gift card, cryptocurrency, or a peer-to-peer -peer app, hang up. Those are all red flags. Andriana Shepard, Wink News. And all good advice, Andrea. thanks. Now, she did reach out to both banks that were mentioned in the voicemails to find out what they do to protect their customers from potential fraud like this. Wells Fargo said it has various resources, practices, and strategies in place, but they do not share the information about specific fraud prevention systems to protect their effectiveness. A spokesperson also gave advice on how to protect yourself, and that's all on Wink News' website. Meantime, Bank of America did not respond to a request for comment.